After forty days and forty nights, I'm running. Hey guys, control yourself. Yes, good afternoon. It is now 12.41. This camera battery is dying, so let me be quick. I am currently at Rapid True Value. The reason for this is because dun, 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 I'm moving! <laughs> yeah. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm going to my current um, living situation to go and clean. And pack up some stuff. I'm tired of you so much garbage bags. I'm just need one solid container that I can put some stuff in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't even know when I'm ever going to post this vlog because I'm not know if I'm doing really that right now. But yeah, I collect my keys tomorrow and sign the lease and all of that wonderful stuff. And yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's now 12.03. I don't know if I told you guys. I think I probably told you guys. But I'm just going to reiterate. Ah! After 40 days and 40 nights. Actually, more realistically, like two years of searching on and off. I'm finally moving. I am um, finally moving. Get my keys today. I signed my lease today. And I am out of here. Um... I don't know how to feel. This is my first big girl apartment. I, I was beating myself up really badly. I always thought that I was supposed to have it a lot earlier in life and you know, this whole shebang. But anyways, we're not gonna get sad, we're not gonna get emotional right now. We're packing, we're packing, we're packing, we're packing, we're packing. You know, I don't know how I have so many things. I really didn't think I had this many things until I started throwing things away and God know me just, me feel like me I'm mad. And I want to get out of this place today. Today, I've been packing for the past probably like five days now. Every time I come here, I pack little, little. I'm going to get frustrated. I'm going to leave. But today, I have to get rid of it all. I can't do this anymore. So, yeah, I'll probably just prop you guys up somewhere or not. Because I'm not like my shame. My shame. The state of which my room is in. I feel away. way. Oh, does that text my phone? Yeah, and one of my friends said they wanted to come help me. I appreciate my friends real bad. But even want she come because as as Mr. Misham, I'm ashamed. But you know. Um, this is all for I'm at these are some other things. Listen child, just just sit somewhere and watch. Like the more I'm packing, it's, it's just more things me I find. Finally cleaned out the closet. I could not show you guys the before because it was disgusting. So this is what we're left with. My little laundry bag. This is rubbish over the so My portable AC. This is garbage that needs to be thrown away, but it's not full it, so yeah. Shoes. I think this and my tech stuff is in that drawer. This is what I'm left with. Dear God. See a fun dossier? Jesus. I don't even know if I want to bring that. I need to go freshen up. I'm going to bring the rest of the stuff to the car. Those, those are what I'm packing in, in the car for now. Then everybody else ready for help me. Come back for the other things then. Until then, taking my Red Bull. Yeah, we got it. I have been talking for three minutes only to realize that everything was recorded in slow mo. Jesus, I want to 
as I was saying, hello, it is the next day, I think, or probably two days after. Anywho, so that I have officially moved. I'm no longer in the moving process. I have moved. It, it, it just feels so surreal to me. But I packed out the last bit of my stuff yesterday and I brought it to the new apartment. And now I am just kind of in a little limbo, a little funk, because it's, it, it's not clean. All the stuff that I packed, I literally threw them in random bags. I don't know what is in what. And I just feel like I need to go at least organize them and put them back in the bags and then have a cleaner come and clean because I just don't feel like cleaning it by myself. Um, what else? I have somewhere, I have an art show to go to tonight. I don't really know how I feel, but I feel like I want to go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have anything to wear though because it's formal attire and all my clothes are bagged up. That also gives me another reason to go to the apartment and just oh, find something to wear. The words going home, it doesn't seem natural yet because you know I haven't stayed there. It, it, it don't feel like home, it just feel like a storage unit. I have never had to pay a light bill, a water bill, nothing like that a day in my 26 years of living. I had to set up that, register with JPS and call him and ask him to transfer this to that i still don't know the water situation go yet um wow i'm really a big girl i'm really a big girl i'm really a big girl honestly i used to always say to myself jano i can't believe i'm this old and i still don't have my my first big girl apartment and stuff like that and when a year time a year time when a year time a year time could not have been more grateful because had I rushed this process, I would be paying a lot more money, first of all. Second of all, I'm so happy with the place that I got because it is spacious. Oh my god, it's so spacious and it is a lot cheaper than what everybody else was offering. I, It's secure. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Amen. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. But anyways, we're not going to get all emotional. I took off my nails. These are the healthiest my nails have ever been. These two are cut shorter than the rest of them because they split when I was popping off the Gelex. But yeah, I've never had my nails this long before. See, even on this hand. That's crazy. I had my natural nails be this long and not split. Sewing has to go. I am literally going to take it out myself. If I take it out, I don't know how I'm going to do my hair for the art show later. But we will figure that out when that time comes. That will be at about 9 o'clock. And it's 11.36 a.m. right now. So I'm going to pull out this hair. And then hopefully one of my hairdressers then can accommodate me today and wash my hair for me. I can do the rest. You know, I can do the rest. But yeah, I'm going to go do that. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -mm. this is how far we be. Morning it is I don't know how many days. I don't know how many days after so we get light I don't know how I got light so fast I don't know if there was some type of mistake or anything but I am not complaining I'm not complaining you know how I knew I got light I went to the apartment to clean or no I'm lying I went to look for something to go somewhere look for an outfit to go somewhere because as I say everything just flinging at some scandal bag and suitcase and whatever mm. so I went to look for it and then I heard this little sound shh, shh. And I'm like, what is that sound? Like the sound uh, uh, that stressed me out. So there are some new AC units installed, right? Still wrapped in the plastic and everything, mounted, whatever. When me look good, I realize, say, the plastic a flap. And I'm like, no windows are open. Why is that flapping? And when I take a closer look, I realize that it was on. What if I never went there that day? AC would have been running for God he knows how long. But I'm just starting to feel like, I cannot afford it. 
<laughs> so it's a good thing I saw it and I nipped it in the but I turned that shit right off. Yeah, at least I have lights. I'm gonna go back there today to check again if if the light gone or if it's still there. I'm okay, so basically on the agenda, I need to buy bulbs because there are no bulbs in there. I don't know. Then put them put a bulb, then them could give me some bulb. But anyways, no bulbs. I need to buy a new broom because I don't believe in taking your old mop or broom from wherever you're living first into a new space. No. Um and look a scoop thing and i had this cleaner like this all-purpose cleaner from the pink stuff and the people at my old place used it out i will i will tell you guys the tea about that old place soon just give me some time i'll tell you why i hated it so much soon but water under the bridge for right now so yeah i think that's all i i want to do today i am still indecisive about the mattress that i want like the brand mattress that i want but you see the thing is it was a furnished place that i was renting previously so yeah i mean if i have my own mattress but i did add a mattress topper to it which is mine of course and it made the bed feel like a hotel so luxurious and everything so at the same time i kind of don't know if i care that much about the mattress but i should care what if I don't have the mattress topper again? That more make sure the bed itself comfortable. So, hmm. But yeah, me and Shanita. Whoa, what this reach back so far? Yeah, me and Shanita touched the road today. She's coming to run some errands with me. It's normally the other way around, but I'm a big girl now. Is that you're a girl? Look at that. So, mm hmm I will talk to you guys when I get to wherever I'm going. I saw the pink stuff in true value so i believe that's where i may end up sophia oh hi guys <laughs> where's the pink stuff that's what i need for you need to buy some there they are no i bought the paste but me did have me did have the spray so i would use the paste on like tougher stains the pink stuff oh i need a breadfruit so there's that <laughs> damn are you good List. Okay, pink stuff need a broom. Yes, yes, you too. Oh, they have no bag in my I was going to buy them on Amazon. Oh, oh, yeah, I feel them quite a bit. Blaze, no need it. Well, look what you want to buy for Blaze. No, look at it. Girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Blaze, Blaze not going to use it. Blaze, will I'm always wrong with some of them. Yeah, but you know how dogs say. You get something for them, they're they not going to use know. it. They want to use what you have. Let's put the bed. Take your eyes off it. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come now. Why do you have a little pile of feminine? Oh, this is pet odor. Okay. You're not a pet. You don't need it. it. Exactly. Not one. More on this too. Because this is that one. They look better. It fits Blaze more. <laughs> Bina, I left you. Come on. <laughs> Two. Two seconds you turn at the wrong aisle and you don't take up. Things are ready. No, Control no. yourself. Focus. Okay, people. I get some light bulbs. Um, yeah. Alright, so I ended up getting just two of these ones because I should have some. Um, this is a 125 watt. The four pack one was 100 watt. So, yeah. I'm going to go bulb school. So, I don't know if this is white light or yellow light. I mean, can't take the stress. I'm going to go bulb school. I'm going to go bulb school. I'm going to go bulb school. I hope for the best. Uh, I hope. 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 I Oh, 40% off. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, now I use it. Oh, mm -hmm. But me, I said for 20 grand of them, they'll complain. That's why I may keep them. <laughs> hey, y'all. Y'all know, I know some of the resurrect people to come try to do the mango. This is not my third time. It's your third time? Yeah. First time I bought Jason, second time bring Shami. And now, it's me. Yeah. Um, Everybody, it's time to get them to put my bone. No, I mean, I don't get that. <laughs> I don't even see it. See that? You need something for it. Can I have a mango mimosa? Sure. 
and a duffel label. Yeah, regular strawberry lemonade? Yeah, you have regular strawberry lemonade? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll take it with the virgin. Thank you. And a duffel label? Yeah, for me too. Sometimes my friend man, especially with my breastfeed, I think I got some darker and I said virgin mm. specifically and she carried full of liquor and I drank it. Well, I tasted it. Oh my god. That so no so must make right. sense. Bet you could have so no, kid. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I just make people taste it first, just yeah, to yeah, yeah. be in the clear. You could have made me taste it though, because I said, it's sweet, man. <laughs> We'll make a room. <laughs> this is ghetto. But, ah! but if that's where, because I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> home. I'm taking it home. It's like a dream. No. Okay. Alright, so this is basically the end of the video. I know it's not much, it's not much decorating or anything like that but that's not really what this vlog is about i just wanted to share this with you guys that it finally happened if you guys are always on my tiktok lives you know that i have been begging and bawling and pleading and stressing and agonizing over this i've been been wanting to move and i'm just extremely grateful that it finally happened i tried so hard to keep my mouth shut about this and higher process because i really do believe in keeping quiet until things are a hundred percent in your favor and worked out like i don't tell people about things until it's completely finished i'm not gonna lie i was really contemplating if i even wanted to post anything about the apartment because evil eye and wicked monitoring spirits are real you know but at the same time if you put your faith in God put all your trust in God there is nothing that anybody can put on you and steer you off your path is basically what I'm trying to say like, whatever God has planned for me the devil cannot take it away so yeah I believe in not you know sharing things until it's done but it's done now and I feel like I can share it so I will I am just so happy I'm just so happy remember I was telling you guys that I had stopped looking you know it the search has been very on and off and at one point I just gave up and I was like, you know, if it comes to me, it comes to me, but I just can't bother. I wasn't finding places that look good. I wasn't finding places that had enough space. I wasn't finding places in my budget. I wasn't finding places that were in good locations. And it did just frustrate me and overwhelm me and I stopped. The minute I stopped looking and somebody that I know told me, hey, I moved out and I found this place and da da da. And in my head, I'm like, Oh my god why why couldn't i find that place well not necessarily like that place but why we couldn't find one place like that what am i doing wrong so it's literally after that person told me that they found a place and how easy it was for them or whatever but said you know what i'm gonna give this another shot let me try again that same day i went on what gleaner classified i believe or jamaica Class i think it's gleaner classified i saw this place call them same time ask them listen can i you know when can I come see the place? They're like, are you available today? I'm like, yup. Even bring Shami with me. We went, we scoped out the scenery. I instantly fell in love with it. As Shami walking out the place, Shami said, how oh, yours this? I can just feel like it's yours. And I, I low-key felt the same way, but I didn't want to get my hopes up. For some reason, in the back of my mind, I was like, I feel like I'm gonna get this place. I feel like I'm gonna get this place. I have to just make sure all my documents are in order, etc., etc. When I tell you I got those documents within a day or two, because you know I forget the JP and this and blah, blah, blah. Say I found the place on a Thursday. Sunday I sent in all my documents, and the Tuesday I was approved. <laughs> the Tuesday I was approved. I was like, this is not real. The week after that is when would be you know the time for me to collect the keys sign the lease all of that stuff and you know during that time i was just trying to pack my things from the previous place it was a bit overwhelming because i did not expect to find anywhere that quickly so i didn't care to pack i didn't care to pack up anything <laughs> so i was scrambling for a little while but luckily i have really good friends and they helped me out anto come help me shanita come help me ty come help me juve come help me and of course my man he helped and I was out of there and now 
you know all my stuff right the new apartment i just obviously need to get it cleaned and get my furniture and stuff um no i will not be doing an empty apartment tour i don't believe in doing those but i will be taking you guys on the journey of decorating so excited to do and it is so on brand because if you don't know i have a business called the seashell abode which is mostly like home decor kind of trickling into a variety store but i'm gonna focus more on the home decor stuff now because you know stay tuned i'm very proud of myself i'm super super proud of myself because I, I i wanted to take this off of my vision board for this year i told myself that at the end of the year now come i'm gonna move out of the place then i really and truly middle of my 100 percent believes it would have happened but wow wow i don't know some people might feel like it's not that serious but it's serious to me it is serious to me all the time like since i moved to kingston back in 2016 i have never lived alone i've always either had a housemate yeah i've always either had a housemate or a roommate or something it was always something i was always around people and you know it served its purpose it serves its purpose i don't regret anything i don't regret any of my living situations um they molded me into the person that i am today i never mentioned you the goat and she helped me reorganize the bags because remember i was telling you guys that i need to reorganize and put the stuff back in bags and label them so at least i know what is in what so we did that so whenever i record it because it's good matter <laughs> but yeah i'm just bringing you guys along the journey and yeah this is episode one of my moving or apartment vlog <laughs> big up god every time big up me need a pat on the back if you like this vlog don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye